it's a generation of people who know who they are because they know who their God is. And our God is Yahweh, and He is the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Beside Him there is no other. Without Him there is no victory, but with Him all things are possible. Somebody praise the name of the Lord! what the Lord God says. I am the good shepherd. This era of time, as mankind knows time, is coming to its end. As of a few days from now, everything is coming to its sudden change. The time of serious transition is soon to come upon the entire earth. The scientists will call it earth or climate change, but I, the Lord God Almighty, call it my holy will and the fulfillment of my holy and most profound decrees which have been established from time immemorial. I am the great I am. My plan shall stand. Nothing can be done by the feeble mortal hand of man to alter, hinder, or stop what I have prepared for mankind. Truly, this era of mankind's journey on earth is quickly coming to a close as I change and rearrange all things. This earth will soon enter a time of severe global darkness. People will understand as I, the Almighty God, draw the curtain of black upon the planet. Those people of mine who have heard of this word will understand. I will grab the sudden attention of mankind as all the technology comes to a sudden incapacitating, can't say that word, incapacitating ability to function. All will be silent and mankind will be thrown into sudden disarray. They will panic as confusion sets in. Many people will lose rational thinking as the curtain of gross darkness covers the earth. I, the Lord God, must do this to literally grab the attention of all the citizens of earth. My people, those who know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, will be shaken far less than the sinner. They will, they will be stabilized by my Holy Spirit as the unction of my Holy Presence falls upon them. My Holy Spirit will calm their minds as they as they falter for a while gathering their wits about them so you my beloved children so see pardon so see my beloved children there are millions of christians who are saved by my grace that have never heard of the days of darkness that's why i'm calling upon you to tell them what is just around the bend you may approach it with scientific terms for it will for i will indeed use the natural means i will use natural means to create this phenomenon my planet which many call planet x or nibiru or nebiru is stealing its way to eventually cover your sun this planet has been observed in various places on earth at times with the naked eye. When, the, when this planet covers your sun, when this occurs, I will, in my great mercy, hold and totally control the earth's temperature at 55 degrees so that no man or animal will freeze. The Holy Spirit goes on to say, however, Cold will be felt, so gather blankets for warmth. Food and water, medical needs if necessary, must be at the ready. Do not discount this admonition, for you will need food and water unless you choose to fast. Candles must be white and unscented. Do not question me over this. Oil lights may be used. Use refined oil as much as possible. Listen well, my beloved ones. I am your Holy Father in heaven. 
you have no earthly holy father the pope of rome is not holy for i alone am holy these days of gross darkness are my great act of mercy to get the full attention of mankind it is at that time that many of the world's false gods will fall those who worship any false god will have the blinders removed and they will be able to choose me as lord god and savior if they so desire the ultimate choice will still be theirs as i force no one to surrender to me listen further my beloved ones immediately before this darkness falls the earth will quake the earth will quake as it groans for the manifestation of the sons of god in many places there will be actual earthquakes occurring the darkness descends as the dark the darkness descends and there will be majestic displays in the cosmos i the lord god almighty the lord jesus christ god in the flesh will rearrange the skies for mankind to see the glorious colors and the deep blood red as the colors wander around the earth they will see this phenomenon that has never been seen before i have reserved it for this time planet x will bring with it a great will bring with it great earth changes as the atmosphere will be charged with electricity this will not hurt or kill mankind but this is something they can see as the discharge will be intense when these changes begin to occur in the heavens you are to notify your loved ones immediately they are to drop whatever they're doing and immediately come to their home it is now listen important it is best if family members can be together in the home of one of the believers in yeshua jesus christ this is why i desire that you tell them beforehand what's coming to the earth so they are willing to cooperate with you when the time arrives otherwise they will call you crazy and not come into the home interjecting in other words when the skies change we see like the the aurora borealis or the bright red stripes in the sky and we see the, the the lightning out of season and we see all this cosmic display and we call our loved one and we say hey so this is the time come where it's going to turn dark in a day or two or whatever you better get into my home with me they're going to say, are you kidding this is just an earth change yeah the scientists they say the earth is going to go through changes so just you're crazy you're crazy so this is why we're supposed to tell our people beforehand getting on with the word from the lord i desire you to alert them now for their sake during this three day of period three days and nights of darkness many unsaved people will truly receive yeshua jesus christ as their savior if you have laid a good foundation if you enter your home i admonish you to cover your windows and do not look out at all period don't look out at all lock your doors and do not open them to anyone why you ask my beloved children i will tell you why it's during this time i will allow hordes of demons to roam the entire earth people from all nationalities will be aware of this and many will die from fear and demonic torment or attack also the seas will roar and great will be the changes that torment sinful mankind for my beloved children those in their homes during this time if you obey my instructions i will send legions of my holy angels to protect you do not fear throughout the earth as all electronic cease you will have nowhere to turn but to me the true and only god of endless ages pray without ceasing pray in the spirit trust in me and i will carry you through please be aware that during this time the resurrection of the dead will take place 
as the graves of the righteous dead will explode around the entire globe. Simultaneously during this time, many, but not all, of my living saints will be transformed by my power and majesty. My children who know me as their Lord and Savior, but who are living in sin and willful disobedience will be left behind. That, is a, that choice is up to them. So the choice to either obey God now or disobey and be left behind. My beloved children, you ask me, why would I allow such a time as this? If you have studied my holy word, you would understand why I will do this. My beautiful earth has become polluted, not so much by man-made chemical emissions, but rather by, but rather my earth has been totally polluted by the filth and degradation of mankind's sins, by the sins of mankind. Sin is destroying mankind and my earth is suffering also. So I'm bringing an end to mankind's rule on the planet. Down through the 6,000 years since I created your planet until now, my creation, human beings, have been hell-bent on making bad choices called sins. These sins are now destroying my earth. I am going to personally intervene. I will soon implement my plan which will save mankind from total destruction. For my word says, for the elect's sake, I will cut the day short. Also, my intervention, intervention will save my earth from, my, I read that part. I love my creation and my plan for the earth, which I have created, is yet to be fulfilled. After all is said and done, my earth will be given another thousand years in which, to, in which the glory and beauty will not only be restored, but will be multiplied as my saints rule with me a thousand years. Read my word, dear ones. Read my scriptures and I will give you understanding. Trust me, my beloved children. I will never leave or forsake you. I will be near to each one of my people who call on me. For I am a God of perfect love, mercy, and grace. I am Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Lord. The end. There's not much I want to add to that except to say what the Lord further brought to my mind. This is not the actual return of Jesus Christ when he says that this is the time when the dead will be raised and these, the living saints will be transformed. This is what we would call the rapture. This is what we call the gathering together of the saints to God. And people have asked me in the past, well, do you believe in a rapture? Also, the Lord revealed to me something about the mark of the beast, uh, something about the fact that after this three days of darkness, the earth is going to come back on, into light and things will never be the same. That's true, but it's not quite the end. There's, there's another what maybe, oh, between three and a half and seven years to go before Christ literally returns from heaven and sets up his kingdom on earth and begins his thousand year rule. So during, so after the three days of darkness have ended and the, and the uh, light comes on again, the electronics are going to have to be uh, rectified. The uh, technology is going to be changed. Don't worry, they're going to have a way to do this because they're going to have help from alien technology. Uh, you better believe they're going to have help from alien technology, evil demons, fallen angels. They're going to come and they're going to assist. And when technology comes back online with the help of the evil aliens, and when uh, the system gets up and running again, they're the evil people that are going to control the world during the Great Tribulation and the wrath of God. They're going to figure they need a way to mark people. And that's when I believe the Lord is showing me, I might be wrong, this is me now, but I believe this is when the actual marking system will come in. Because remember, there's going to be some lukewarm Christians left behind that are going to be repenting of their sins and maybe having to die for their faith in Jesus Christ. And so anyway, um, new technology, 
after the light comes back on, is going to be used to mark the citizens of the world in order to buy and sell. And when the, the Christians that are left behind that were lukewarm or sinful, they're, not, they're going to realize by then they can't take the mark of the beast and they will have to give their heads, literally, uh, give their lives for the cause of Jesus Christ. And then, of course, they will have, praise God, thank you, Jesus, they will have eventually eternal life with us in heaven and then the kingdom of God. So after the light, after the light comes back on, life will still go on for three and a half to seven years, I'm not sure which, during which mankind will live, there will, there will be wars, there will still be problems, the mark of the beast will come online, there will be uh, more famines, pestilence, uh, the uh, Jerusalem and Israel will be greatly involved, and so on, because there's still going to be, there's still going to be quite a bit of prophecy that will yet be fulfilled. But the living saints and the dead in Christ, those who will live the last one, and the dead in Christ will have been taken. And that's called the rapture. So that's exactly what we want to do here. Okay, I dressed in black. I don't know why. say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me.